So I'm really excited because if you're here, you probably came here because you watched. Oh my gosh, I can't find a place where I'm in the frame. Hi. So you probably came here because you watched that Michael Armando video, which is awesome because that's well, that's why I'm getting views is because Michael Armando saw the Michael Armando video. And yeah, if you like silly songs like that and you are subscribed to me because you like ukulele songs that are, you know, ridiculous. You've come to the right place because I write them all the time! Um, but that's not what I'm gonna do today. I'm going to do the life, my life in letters thing. I only came in contact with the whole format pretty recently and I'm still enamored with the idea. So, A is for April Fool's Day. That is my favorite day of the year. I like to sit in the bathroom with the toilet seat down with a gorilla mask at midnight and wait for people to come in and try to get in the bathroom. That's not weird. It's hilarious. B is for baking bread because that is what I do for a living. Makes you buff, which incidentally also starts with B. C is for coffee. I work like 15, 16 hour days pretty regularly. The other day I was up for 25 hours. So yeah, you need coffee. This is my favorite coffee cup. D is for dog. I have four dogs, Bijou, Oifi, Finnegan, and Einstein. They are my best friends, which is probably why I'm you know, making YouTube videos. E is for elephants because I love elephants. I collect them. I have like 20,000 elephant things. I have elephant jewelry and elephant bed sheets and elephant, elephant everything. I don't even know. F is for Frank Sinatra. He was a cat, but I love him. G is for green because it's my favorite color. H is for Hogwarts. I graduated from Hogwarts, so I feel like it, it needed a place in this video. Yeah, it was a good school. I is for ice cream. I couldn't think of a J. I was like, jelly beans. I hate jelly beans, so I don't know why I would say that. I don't know why nothing with J apparently applies to me. K. Could K be for Keith Harkin? I love Keith Harkin. If you don't know who Keith Harkin is, I'm really sorry about that. You need to go look him up. His debut solo album was my favorite of 2012. Sometime in September, I bought his new CD. I bought it at a live show and he signed it just for me. broken so sometimes you have to kick it. His hair is great but it's not the reason I'm obsessed with Keith Harkin this season. L is for letters. Like the kind that you write. I have a book this big and I have another book this big and I have a whole bunch more that aren't even filed yet because I file them because I'm kind of nerdy and if I didn't I wouldn't be able to keep track of them because there are way too many. M is for Masterpiece Classic. Masterpiece Theater in general. Pretty much anything with English accents and period costumes I will devour. N is for Neat Freak. I just like things to be neat. I like a clean lot. O is for orange juice. I used to drink two of these full of orange juice every single day at breakfast and then sometimes again at lunch. It's like the size of my head. Funny story, I don't have a stomach now! They didn't like what I had to offer so they fired me. R is for revenge. I have no idea why I said that. S is for Sherlock Holmes. I've read every single Sherlock Holmes story ever. I'm kind of obsessed. If you want to talk to me about Sherlock Holmes, let's talk. T is for Third Rock from the Sun. Now, if you are too young to know what Third Rock from the Sun is, just go away. I'm kidding. That, that was mean. Seriously, the best TV show. U is for the United States Constitution. I watched a lot of these Life in Letters videos and a lot of people said Unrequited Love, which I really loved because I was like, story of my life, I could so use that. But then I was like, I'm gonna go for something a little more optimistic, like the United States Constitution. I've read it a lot, I love it, I know it. If you live in the United States, you should love it, you should know it, and you should go read it. Get off of YouTube. Go read your constitution and know your freaking rights. V is for vlogging because that's kind of like what I do now. W is for wits, comma, L. <laughs> yeah, did you get that reference? It was Legally Blonde. 
I was born blonde. Um, obviously, it's my hair is not blonde anymore. It's changed color. But if you ask me what color my hair is, I will still tell you blonde. I will tell you that I'm a blonde. I have chronic delusions of blondness. X is for X-Men, not the spandexy comic book ones, but the Hugh Jackman E ones. Y is for yellow shoes. I don't know why, but I've always had this obsession with yellow shoes, and I collect them. And Z is for Zeus, who is my rabbit. I have several rabbits. That is that. Z wraps up the alphabet unless you live in a country and speak a language where there's more letters than that. That was a ton of fun. Thank you for watching. I had fun. I, I, you're all adorable freaking subscriber people. That was probably really condescending. I'm sorry. But I really, I'm um, just thank you for watching. Okay, bye.